like no gi is is a specific sport, but most people do not walk around in lycra and, and fight shorts, and so you're gonna have to make grips on the people if hopefully they have the clothes on, because I will not fight a naked person, I will run away. So I'm gonna show some really basic stuff that I, that I it fits into my game, and it gets me to where I want to be. I'm not gonna just go out there and try to jump the guard. Yosh, you want, you want to help me? So I'm gonna show you how I get into my position, and like, from stand-up, since we have gi on, I'm gonna go gi, I'm gonna go thumb up in the collar. And when I make this grip, this grip is not gonna slip. I'm not gonna go like this, because then he makes his posture. And what I wanna do is be able to induce his posture to come over his knees like this, right? And I want this leg to come forward, and so I bring him this way, and I'm gonna open it, and then when I come here, and see how I'm, I have my posture, see my, 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 my head is up, and my, my neck is straight like this. And therefore, there's no guillotine there, and it's very hard for him to cross face me. And I like to hang on the collar so that I, I'm like riding Bart, and I'm gonna have my elbow by my ribs, right? And so it bends him over like this. And so it's easy for me to start to drive, and then I come into this kind of a position, right? I'm already gonna block his escape, and I'm gonna cross face him, right? Have to use your I can jump down, I just can't jump up anymore. Right, so if this leg is back like this, I'll, I'll, I'll take a cheat step and bring it here. And now I'm going to do like a burnout Chevy here. I'm going to come here and I'm going to have my head right in his armpit so he can't cross face me. And naturally, I'm going to try to stand up with him, but just not lately. I'm going to start to pull his collar down and pick his foot up and come in, stabilize, and then always block him in the head. I don't grab the pants, I put my hand as low as possible at the floor because there's nothing lower than my palm on the floor, right? Sometimes you grab the pants, the guy has a special pants escape that I learned from Halsa, right? If he grabs in the middle of your ass, he grabs the outside. There's ways to break the, the grip, but this is like a shim or a doorstop and it's going to follow his hip wherever he moves and meanwhile I'm adjusting my cross face to where if I have his armpit, I bring the pressure. See how my body did not drive over him, because then he'll throw me over. So when I clean into the guy, I bring my elbow and I roll this, and that causes my shoulder to drop, and that's why the pressure is so gnarly. And then you skinny guys can do that fucking Von Flu flow, flu, flu choke, which I, I can't do because you have to have long limbs. So, you guys are gonna get together, grab a grip, if the hand does not slip. You can go inside tie if you're a big wrestler, wrestler, right? Otherwise, I'm going to use the gear. I cannot pull and I try to tug his, his elbow in, right? So that his reaction is going to lift it up, and then it makes the space where I'm at. And see, I'm, I'm off to the side, so if he sprawls, it's not going to be on top of me. Yeah. I can take the back or I dump him over. All right? One, two. Come on, white people. Keep up with the other people. <laughs> bear up, bear up. You want to be to his side with your forehead up. Go double knee down and hang on that collar. That's going to look. See how your head is way over your knees? Yeah. It's easy for me to dump you. Right? Yeah. It's just not easy for me to get back up. <laughs> hang on that collar, you guys. And when I mean hang on that collar, keep your elbow next to your body so it bends him over. You can stand up with the... You can stand up with the... You fucking motherfucker! You hurt my eye. I thought I did it wrong. <laughs> did it wrong? <laughs> so I make a seven. Look, and now I'm set up for it. 
this hand, I'm going to try to stuff into the floor. See how, how his head is over his knees? It's easy for me to ram into As you fall, you dump him over. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Thank you. To the head and here deep. Go to step. Put this elbow here on your ribs. Yeah, look. So, so what you want him to do? Basically, step forward and then you swung here. And you're so heavy here that his head is over his knee plane. And that means the only thing he can do is throw his legs back, and that's not going to stop him. And otherwise, I'm going to dump him. You go ankle pick or. or yeah, you can stand up with it, you can ankle pick it. You can get up with it. Like, that's how I usually teach it, but I'm not getting up very good. I just stay there and I keep my position. I'll, I'll go guard. Rodrigo taught me one. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the only thing is if he perceives it, he goes. Yeah, yeah, he's not. Yeah, yeah. That's how I like to do it. Like, he's still stand back there. He's still like four in the right spot. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Like this, see? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my hand, then come through here and drive him, and then clamp up like that. So I think they call it in wrestling a navy. I call it a cowboy because I think the cowboy is way cooler than navy. Right? So if I don't break his posture, it was my fault. You know? That's why I'm saying, like, when I swing on this collar, I'm literally swinging like this on this collar like Tarzan, but better looking. Okay? Here, and I go, and the guy doesn't fall for it. So look, one, two, and then I'm gonna drive. Right? All right? So that's, that's the option you have if you don't get the collar pull, all right? So what I tend to do, and I'll get here, like this, and come here, and drive and pull, right? So now, I'm getting into where he's going to do something that I want. And so what I really want him to do is push into me. And when I have his leg, I'm pulling his leg to me so it's tight to my chest so he doesn't do a bump and run, which is possible here because I am kind of set up for it, right? But as soon as I come here like this and he tries to do that, I collect his leg and I'm gonna spin my head between his leg and punch to the sky. And that's why your grip, <coughs> when you're here, my grip is not like this. If you guys take your arm like this and try to punch to the sky, it's like, it's a retarded punch. I can say that. <laughs> No. <laughs> and I call it 69, not north-south. So your hand has to be palm up like this so the punch to the sky is going to be powerful. Here, not so much power, also it's not by a... And I just spin it, come on top. And I go immediately to an over-under pass where my cheek is against his thigh ever so gently and my throat is around his hip 
and I hug his leg. I don't like being with the pants like this. There's too much kihura threat and other stuff. It's just fucked up. So when I pass like this, I reach all the way around their thigh so that there's no space. And then I'll, I'll move when I want to move. Because right now I have both my elbows to my body and it's very hard to overpower me. Even, even at this depleted state that I'm in. If, if Yoshi starts to push me away, I just a cup for him. Now eat up turf. Bowie, using his movement to take this much, not this much. Like a big bite. I'm just taking little bites, little bites, and I get in range, I block his hip, and I continue. And I always, my arms are like this, and I turn my palms up. If you do that, you can tell that, look, your elbows do come in. So when I grab, I'm palm up, and I bring it here, and I'm strong, and my elbows don't flare. Because now he wants to pull, his only defense is here, either gonna turn my head by pushing my face, my ugly face, it's not gonna bother me, I don't care. Or, or he's going to push your head to the ground, right? And that's his only escape. Otherwise, if you keep your head looking, I pass to the left, I look to the right, and vice versa. If I pass to the right, I look to the left. If you look left and pass left, you go on the bottom. You're going to push your head down, you're going to go, oh shit, and you're going to have to back up. He rebuilds his guard, right? So, go ahead. If, for an instance, I was playing open, I'm going to open his thigh. And see, look, I keep this arm close to me because if it's over, he's gonna jump to it. Yeah. <laughs> you fucker. Right? So, I, you always have to think about these things. Also, I have better push. If my arm's over here, my push is, is this much. If my hand is here, my push is big. So, I sat up. And either I sat up or I jumped to this or the guy pushes into me and I end up like this. I need to be on his foot. Because if I'm like this, he does the bump and twirl his foot out to the outside. No, no, no. You're gonna go bump and then lift your foot up and then twirl it over. Yeah! And then step back, yeah. That'll happen to you. But if I'm here sitting on his foot and everything's tight like this, I grab here, palm up. And my first recourse is this. I look and I try to drive into him. He pushes back, I lay down, collect his leg. And look, I don't put my ass in the air. That's what the people in San Francisco would like you to do. It, putting your ass up does not make more pressure. Putting your hips in makes your hips come in like this and you turn into a shield where things rebound off. If I bring my knees in line with my hip line, that means there's a cavity and that's what he needs to, to put his leg back. But since I'm coming on top, and I'm coming here, it's very hard, because I'm smashing his leg too. And then I'll staple, and I flex my toes to that side, so it keeps his leg straight. It's really annoying. And then once again, look. I just need a little bit of territory. Then I block his hips. And go like this, and do a kickstand. And I clear, and I'll run. His legs away from me, hip to hip. All right? Like you did barely anything, it's correct. Okay. Yeah. 
Absolutely. <laughs> right? If you have to hustle it, there's something wrong. Yeah, this is good. I want to be here. And so you can, you can sprawl and push off your toes to your knee. It makes his legs stuck long. Yeah. And yeah. my knee's pointing that way now. Okay. Right? Oh my gosh, shit. So you can't bend his leg. And then right now, exactly, gain some ground, and then take the right arm out. And go right here. Bum a bum. Oh, exactly. Collect his hips now and fucking cut over or whatever. Middle, yeah. middle finger of my armpit around my neck if you want. And bring it in, son. Tight. There you go. Bring that shoulder. Yeah, pull it up. Pull it into you. Don't bend me at my hip. There you go. Don't worry about your No, no, no. Don't stop. If I, if I go, it's Hell yeah. It's just, it's on here. It's straight here. I probably will because you have your hips. That's great. Right? It's fucking up. No, he must have a different way to do it. Yeah, different spices. You have to cook, right? Underneath his leg. Yes. That's him tying his hips. Yeah. Forward. Forward. Keep pushing back. Bring him over. Drive up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Boom. Exactly. And now look, you feel him pushing in now. Grab his leg, palm up. No, no. Keep that leg. Right arm stays where it is. Now grab palm up by his knee. Turn and punch. Yes, and come on top. Okay, nice. Keep them glued to you and try to collect the leg with your leg. Put you on the ground, you roll, and you punch the ceiling. Yeah. Thank you. you where, where I, I'm gonna show you where I got this and so there's a lot of little nuance and details so I'm a half guard guy or a closed guard guy and if they're going either place I, I, I know where the trail leads right so come here half so let's say the guy comes into my half and so if you notice my top shoulder is cocked over my bottom shoulder and I already have my elbow hidden underneath my body. Why? Because if my elbow's like this and he pulls my arm now, I lay down. But here, he wants to pull my arm out, I lay my weight heavier. <laughs> if you can uh, imagine that. And see how I'm hiding my arm here like this, like I'm petting my, my tummy. There's a reason for it is I don't want him to get the underhook right. But if he comes forward towards me, I pop my elbow out and I get my underhook. 
right? And then I turn it uh, backside towards his head, and then I and I come out and I go. My first my first thing is go to the back and see how I put my ear on top of his shoulder because if I'm here, he's just gonna reset. Right, and then I'm flat and shit, everything goes wrong. So I'm here, I'm gonna use this, see my foot here on the floor, it's not letting him take his knee out, right? Because he needs to articulate like this and then he can cut over. Okay, so that's why your knees hurt. <laughs> so I'm like this and I'm, I'm cocked over, top shoulder over, bottom shoulder. I'm laying right on my elbow, right on my rib cage. So he cannot pull my arm out. Also, I can stop him from grabbing my head and I have this hidden. When I'm ready, I pommel, kick him forward, and come here. If I get here, I know I'm gonna get the back and I'm, this hand will turn into an underhook. I'll kick my elbow, my knee will come up, so I have right angles, look. Right angle, lift up, right angle, and then my hips will flip over. If your leg is long, your hips won't flip over. You know what I'm saying? Either I gotta thread through for my hips to flip over or I have to be here. But I'm here like this and I got here. And then this hand, you can grab the collar if you want. And then I can turn and come up and go to his back. And I always grab under hook just in case when I throw my hook in, he tries to dive me over, right? So, it's easy when the guy is coming forward. Right, because he's coming forward and that's what he wants to do, he wants to come forward. If the guy is afastando, uh, st st staying back, then I'm gonna fucking use my knee and pull out and go back to my guard. I'm not gonna try to force a position that's not available to me, right? And that's what's nice about this. I, if he stays back, I bring this in, I fucking poke him in the belly with my knee, I take my bottom leg out and I go have full guard, right, or whatever. So, here I am like this. Pummel. See, and he still can't get his leg out. Right, and if you want, you can do a calf slicer here, but usually it, t it pops the guy's knee who's doing it rather than the guy you're doing it to. So, then I already tight here, I know he can't realign. So what is he gonna do? If I come here, more than likely he's gonna try to sit back to his guard. And then he does everything I want. And I float over it. All right, so what I'm trying to do is, is first get into my position, and my first position is gonna be the back take, okay? So remember, I'm, I'm turning my hand this way. Because this way is a frame, right? Like when you're, when you're doing guard and stuff like that, you do a frame like this, so it's harder to break. So when I pummel, I use my elbow, and it pops the hole open, and I come out, and then I'm, and this hand will even, Make a V underneath his armpit. Go here and pop it out. And see, I'm already collecting this just in case. And then my other knee is kicked up. Now I can go here. All right? All right, so start with that. One, two. The, the lockdown taught me how to load the guy. It wasn't like to stall the guy. Thanks for so big, jumped over the 
And then lift, lift your side, the Piedmont side up. Do one, I guess, yeah, do one, see how you do with it. Well, they say you need one good leg. Because without it, you know, so so it's still in because it's a free hook and then you only have to pull, put in the far side hook you know what i'm saying go ahead grab them again so you did it, you pummel, you kicked through, you popped your head out, boom, head out, and put your head, see look, here you get a realign. Put, put your right ear on top of his body. Now he tries to realign, look, it's, it's hard. Now put your right hand on the floor. Now rotate around and throw your other hook in. Yeah, that's way better. Right, because if you take it out, put it in, it's a different game. <laughs> I'm here all week. Nice I know. I I know. 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 San Francisco, you'd be Dude, that's awesome where I, there with me. No, I, I had an academy out there with Jake uh, on a mission. It's still there. I just I can't drive that nice one. Uh, my diet, I had diabetes for a second. Now I'll have to go to the grill. Yeah, I guess I, my system, yeah, my form of exactly. Yeah, no, it was like in a phase where I was like, I was destroying myself. Handle it in. Handle it in. Hold on. 
see, I, I, I just don't need to help you. Go for the back. So, this is like, like what, one of my go-to moves. I'll, I'll jump into this, or I'll try to take, take down, and I'll, I'll instigate this, and then I'll get my, my, my half guard that I want. A lot of guys like to go over the, sh the, the guy's low back or even upper back. I, I can't do it. I, I just think that it's so awful. The, the wizard that the guy achieves there is just too strong. So wherever I am, I sink down and put the wizard in. See how I get way down here by his dick? <laughs> And I'm comfortable with that. If you got, if you got hang ups in this sport, you're not gonna last long. So I'm new down here and I'm hugging his thigh rather than here. The reason being, here, if I try to come on top, his wizard is so strong I'm slamming in the floor. But if I get down here and go around his thigh and I step over and I start to string out, I'm gonna win this battle. I'm gonna come out, get on my knees, I'm gonna drive on top. Which I can't do right now, but I've seen on TV. So, in here. So when when I'm here and I got half like this, notice how I'm always like shelving my arm so that it's not like this, because then he pummels, right? So I'm always like this, and if he tries to pummel, I go back here. And then I'm... I'm here making sure that he's not going to cross face me because I need, I need my head clear so I can sink. When I'm ready, I go hand underneath his armpit like this and I'm going to lay back and, and I sink way down here. If you want, do you as I pass this to here, step over, come on top. And once again, look where I'm at. I'm in my over underpass once again and I'm safe from Kimura and everything. And I'm driving my toes in the ground and my hips are going down. Right? So. You guys know that. So, if you imagine. That's what half guard is. So, my arm is kind of doing this. And I'm crunching and lifting my butt off the floor so that I can slide down the guy's length of his leg. The more I string him out, the more, if I'm a wrestler, I can go to a single. That's what I teach my wrestlers. Well, I don't got a guard, coach. And I go, okay, then we're gonna make you half guard guy and you're gonna go into your single. And I'm like, yeah, wrestling. <laughs> so, if I'm here like this, and I get, the, I get the whole shot, I go to the back. If I don't, see how far down I am? My elbow's close to my body. And you can't get Darcy, you can't get nothing. I'm here. So if I want, I pass it. Step over. Come on top. Once again, I'll tie his foot to his ass. Because then he can't use that leg to pass it over anymore. And you can even see me hanging on his toe and then stay able clear. Once again, I'm, I'm always like climbing up, up the guy's body because his push will be strong here. Right? Why? because he has the full stroke of his arm. But as I come here and he insists on pushing me, his elbows come away from his body and he no longer has the leverage to push me away. That's why I'm gonna go little sections until he's like, it's like, fuck it. I should have thought about doing my hand position because I'm going on defense, right? So you have to think about that as, when you think about both sides of the game, right? So. See, I'm all the way here and I have my palm up grip or I pass the foot. I step over so this leg can turn my hips. I come on top. Okay? I'm already in for my pass. I, I want to be here because what do you say? I'm going to push my face, right? 
But see, look, every time he wants to push my face, he has to plant his foot and he pushes my face into his own thigh. So that's why my, my throat is over his hip bone. Little by little. Then he's like, oh, I gotta push Kurt away. Man, I keep pushing Kurt away. Now have the elbows away from his body and we got a lot to work with. Make sense? So I'm like sliding on him, not separating. I'm gonna let the cotton, I'm not gonna separate because I'm gonna let the cotton undulate as he moves. Every time he moves, I move. All right? One, two. I tried to do it to me and I was like, this, how are you not tapping for this? I'm all, I played soccer. I don't feel shit on my shins. And he goes, fucker. I'm all, that's what I'm going to call this move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're like, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't feel shit on my shins. Canela. Canela con canela. Vai chutar a água. O cara vai. Ei, au! So skip, pummel, and then look, right hand, and then boom, and then sink. Get off your elbow, get off your elbow, lay down. That's it. Now you got your grips? Now step your right over your left and drop your left on the floor. And now go to your knees. And drive on top. Yeah. And then I settle in. See, see how you're, you're hip up? Yeah. Put your dick like to the floor on top of his leg. Now his leg, look how much you can use his leg. Whereas if you hop your butt up, you're going to move his le leg, especially if the guy is flexible. I have an accent sometimes. <laughs> Go back one step, bro. Let's fix it. Do it again. How you doing? Alright. So, chuck him forward. Knee him in the butt. Now, bring your, your left elbow in. That's it. Now hug his thigh with your, with your left hand, hug his thigh. On your side, like this. This is that was thin back. And this here. Now look, this leg can stay here. Now climb down his leg some more. Put your left ear by his cock. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> and you you put the wizard in. That's it, my man, exactly. Now you're gonna kind of lever this open and then grab palm up right here. Alright. So now this foot is going to step over here. Now this foot is going to drop right here. Now, no, no, on to that. Now go to your knees. Throw that leg out. Yeah, my man, now you have something. Right? Now you just have to follow those steps. Remember, the more between his legs that I am, and you have to think about this in a fight sense, if I'm out here, his line of sight is line of fire, so he's gonna punch the shit out of me and elbow me, right? But if I'm here and I'm fucking with his face, he can't punch me. And when he does, I'm gonna take a punch or two and I'm gonna get the sweep. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. Get I'm get fucking tight. way nestled in there. So he's like, fuck, how am I gonna get this fucking guy out of here? <laughs> Put the wizard. 
Bring your bottom leg out towards me. My man. Remember, um, remember Frank Mir Brock Lesnar in the second fight? Uh huh. Remember Brock? Oh, this one. Brock got to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat down. Smash it. I used to try to get a choke there, but I kept getting grabbed. Yeah, I, I think I can do it with my lapel. That's what I was going to suggest. Yeah, my lapel. I'll show you. That's why I always do this when the match starts, too. And the referee goes, oh. <laughs> I have to undress myself here, but I'll pass. And then. Oh, okay. That's so fast. So it's near side underneath and are you pulling the cross? I'm cross face. And then I is that bon pass a scene? Like a pirate? <laughs> right? Or I pass here and I already grab my yeah, like that. I use the far side mostly when I do the But jokes. the far side, I do the, I do the twist and line up with yeah, him, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And if I go near side this way, then I do the hop over spin yeah. choke. I've done the hop over spin, but I just feel like now, oh, yeah. when I go around, I'm just having more trouble finishing it. So I like the far side one, but I like this one too. This one's really nice for my game. It's very yeah, yeah. If you're a side control guy, you, you can't yeah, live without it. Boom, it's done. It's so fast. And so look. This is the leverage thing, because I was thinking about how, how, to, how it works. So once I loop it around, it's very easy to go down, but if you start screwing away, it's tighter. This is going to go behind that loop. This is going to lay down. This is going to be right. Okay. You got it? Now you just go to your knees. You just drive and go to your knees. Y'all bring some shirts? Are you still at a Lumber in there or what? Yeah, I'm still Monday, Wednesday, Friday there, and then at my surgery and rehab and stuff, I figured I'd pick up some night shifts and stuff like that. Adam wants to move up to like where he lives. He's up there. Where the fuck up there? Somewhere in the mountains. Yeah, he wants to open up a place up there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I can only do what I can do, you know? Uh, it's like right now I'm really limited. Like I'm crawling around. Good thing I'm free crawling. Time! So, there are some sweeps that are like power and some that are grace, right? And some that are like really kind of evil and make the guy comply to the sweep. But if you don't get into the position, you, you can't reach it. So like when I, when I teach half guard, I teach, I, I'm teaching you guys to always get really deep down in the half guard because in a, in a combat kind of sense here, he won't, if he can look at you and he can see your head and everything, he's going to start to fire. Elbows and stuff like that. If I'm here, he has to pry me away from him to get a good shot. Because otherwise, I'm going to, I'm going to take those shots because you're going to get back in my head and my ear, maybe. Right? But when he lifts up to look for me, that's when I'm going to get my sweep. So I teach everybody to go really deep because of the threat of perhaps you having to do half guard in the fight. I'm going to, you know, half. So... Once I get where I'm supposed to be, 
see how my foot configuration is. You have the bottom of my foot here like this on the top of his foot. And I lift it up. And I bring it, and then I catch it here. Now, I'm going to start to push into him, and when he pushes back, I'm going to turn my hips under and pull his legs so his knee pops, and he has to go on bottom. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of like this, and I'm going to lift it up, catch it with the back of my knee, and bring it, and then grab it with my hand. Then I plant this foot here, and I rotate my hips once again, and I punch to the sky. But this time I'm pulling his leg in a right angle, and so therefore he has to follow his knee. If he doesn't, he's gonna scream, okay? He's gonna pop his leg. So here. Get here. Yeah, yeah, that with no thumb. And I still keep my leg kinda closed. And this foot here, and then I start to turn my hips under. And he doesn't wanna go, he doesn't wanna go. I keep pulling the leg until come on top and I go over and under again or I could just keep his keep his grip go side control right so these are all going to be up uh, obviously up, uh, available to you if I get that position I have to get to that position first is then I know I've got the thigh I got the pants or I fed the foot whatever but then I know that I'm safe. So here, right, I step over so this leg can thread out. It's like going to your knees when, when you're, the guy's passing your guard. I have to thread out. So if I thread out and I come here and I start pushing into him and I feel him push in, I collect his leg with this leg and I pull his leg with my leg. And once again, I rotate and come on top. But see how I'm collecting his leg? Or I lift it up and I grab it, right? But it's all because I get to my position. I'm deep, I don't have any hands, and I'm really close to him, ever so gently. Right? <laughs> Here I am like this, yeah? So either I can go pass, grab, catch. Right? And I can try to go to my knees and he pushes back and pull it. Right? Or I go to my knees, he doesn't want me to come to my knees, I grab his foot like this. Once again, see how his leg is bent. I'm pulling it with my leg, punch, come on top, keep his hips turned, and I come in here. Alright, I'll crawl around and make sure everybody's got this. Alright, one, two. I was like, stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deeper, deeper talk. Grab a start, grab a start. Yeah. yeah. Good. Nice. Very nice. The guy's gonna go. Yeah. Come on. Get your deep hats. Get, get in there. Okay. So grab. Yes. So now, since you're down here like this. This one, and then catch. And then plant, and now, yes, pull in and move your hips. My man, just like that. Luckily, I have really, really big feet, and so I grab things with them. Right? Instead of either that or I'll put it in my mouth and I'll bite it. Sink, sink, straighten his leg and sink. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So look, this knee, you're going to raise this cap, this knee to the back of your head, and your, your left hand is going to in the butt, and raise it, and raise it towards you over your shoulder. And see, now look, straighten his legs. 
That's it. And now grab him around the thigh and he's gonna throw the wizard in. Or you go, yes, he looks. Yeah. Oh, God. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell him, relax. I'm just so happy. So happy to see you guys. So happy to be here. Here we go. You guys know they've been talking about this. Don't fight me. You finally found your twin. I know, right? Now turn your hips underneath his hips. No, no, the other way. Yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah. I did a lot with the uh, left foot, and I like how you done with that hand. Never seen that one. It's gonna be nice. I lift it up, and then I catch it, and I bring it to my hand. Yeah. But if I'm deep enough, it, it's not a real reach. As long as I'm there. Yeah. It brings you, it brings you into range of a lot of things when you sink deep. Deeper. Shake his leg and climb down his leg like a tree. More. Scoot, scoot, scoot this way. No, 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 keep this. No, 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 give me this. Scoot down this way. My man, now look. This foot. Let me have this foot. Not that foot. This foot. Now look, this one's gonna lift it up and then this one catches it. No, no, no. Yes. Now grab it. Yes. Plant this foot. Scoot your hips under. Go, 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 go. Punch. Fucking nice. That's just the way it's supposed to work. See how you fed it to your other leg so you can bring it into range. But if you're deep, it should be in range because you're long. Right? Yes? Scoot your hips underneath. And lift. And pull. Go, go, go. He has to follow. Yeah, he's like, oh shit, no wonder he has to follow. Uh, or that. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or you can grab the Sneaky detail. Yeah, I didn't, you didn't show that, did you say No! <laughs> That's usually a San Francisco move. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> you got a message showing all the good work. Yeah? Cool. I will as soon as I'm fixed. It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Yes? No? Sink down. Put the wizard in right now, Blue. That's it. Okay, keep climbing down his leg. Keep climbing down. That's it. Okay. You're halfway there. Look. So now look. Hang on one second. So now you go like this. You're going to take this leg. Yes. And now catch it with this leg. Now grab it. Now, plant this foot and scoot your hips underneath his hips and touch the sky. Yeah. There we go. I use one foot to lift it up and then I use the other leg to catch it. But the whole time I'm in, I'm in control of his leg. So if he does go, I just go to my knees and I turn it into a single or I stand up with his leg and I drag it. Right? Good. Nice go. Yeah, very nice. All right. Yeah. Good for you. You know, you know, you know. Try to go your knees this way. Oh, yeah. Like put the wizard in. And so you try to come that way. Look, and he pushes into you. Now roll underneath him. Pull his leg, yes, and punch, yes. He's equal to. Now, I just keep his leg punched away, and now back out like a crab. Yes. Yeah, I turn him that way, and if he wants to go that way, because he can't come this way, he'll turn away from you, and then I, I chase. Right? It would be really a lot of leverage. Yeah. Sit down, go ahead, Ken. Put the wizard. Get your head deeper and your butt slide down. 
There we go. Lift it up. Yes. Fucking A. Now turn your hips underneath his. Pull it. Yes. And then go back. Yes. I always get to try number one so I get the, the true little answer. If I fake if I fake the attack or fake this, he doesn't give you the true answer. You know, yeah. does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you want that. Reaction. So he needs to give you me the to fight he needs to give me the truth, otherwise it'll be torture. Yeah. Right? I, so that's what you have. You cannot take it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, ah, and I'm gonna give it some juice. And as soon as I feel him push back like this much, you know, then I know, okay, he's going, he's going that way easy, right? But then that's because he had to, he had to fend off that attack for if they're bad. Right, you do like a big bump. By the time you go the other way, he's already reached it. No, he's already, he's, he's already savvy. He's savvy. <laughs> So you're going, you're trying to get to double. Right, 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 right. Because then if he pushes into me and I have his legs between my legs, I can collect it and do the same pull with a single leg. So that's why I always envelop their leg. And they'll try to run away and that's fine. Because then I just duck out the hip lock. Doesn't matter. If they need that, I'm I'm in other single. They should feel a knee cut because I have their legs stretched out, yeah. and I'm down. I'm, I'm like, if, if I'm down where I'm supposed to be, then I'm so deep that my head is touching their dick. You can only wish. <laughs> so how would I collect it from here? So now look. If he pushes in you, you're gonna go like this. Catch his leg now, and now roll between his legs. And then you back out. Exactly. Caleb, yeah. okay, you do a master's? Yeah, you're master one? Yeah. Tough for the shit, yeah, dude. It's like all the fucking young guns. Like all the legends. Oh, I'm dirty. Yeah. Oh, I won world you championships know, 10 years ago. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even know that that existed yeah. until I was 37. Yeah, I got you like... You didn't compete in any masters or anything? Yeah. I think I was like 40 by the time we started doing that. I know. I got like pink sheet in my hand. Who's that in the call? Yeah. 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 I can at least give you like moral. <laughs> I have a pretty good moral compass right there. That's kind of the guy. I I'll saw. tell you, no, you shouldn't do that. Who did it? Who did it? Big Dave's a mess, but I couldn't have a better, better guy to look up. No, that's for sure. All right, time. Kids. Kids. But. Oh, God. So. The reason I get that deep is because I, I see all kinds of crazy guys. Sometimes I watch the internet, sometimes I, I don't, because I, when I see something, I say, fuck. But if I'm here and I, I want to go deep half here, I have to come through all this, and as soon as I go like this, I'm going to get cross faced. And then I'm, I'm on the end of my arm where I'm going to have to be brutally strong and that's not gonna happen, right? Because he'll sprawl his leg out, he'll break my grip, and then he'll start backing out of my guard. So that's why I sink to here, and then I spin under. See? I hide my arm. So it's hanging out, it's coming off, right? So I rolled under, and then look, I'm in a position where I'm so deep that he cannot strangle me now because my head is not out here. It's against his thigh, right? And then I can sweep and come up, right? But <clears throat> it's like, I'm not gonna go to deep half until I get my half guard normal, right? And then if he's like not buying this, back and forth stuff, or my back take and stuff like that, or the foot feed and stuff like that, then I'll roll under. And once again, when I roll under, I'm rolling my hips and I'm bringing my hand with the top of my hand to the top of my head. 
and that makes, see look at the slant here, and that carriages his leg on your shoulder. So now it's my whole body lifting that big fucking leg instead of my poor little arm, right? So, I come here, I sink, and then look, I shoot through, I roll this. And then I have it here, I have my arm hidden. Now, depending on what he does, and I can grow here, grab that, have this, have that, and then I start to turn. Put him on bottom, I had a really bad deficit. Can't block my cross face. All right. So, the feet thing, you guys are gonna have to do something about that, I, that's like something I do. But what you're doing is pinching his leg and kind of bringing your knees up so it opens a space so that I can pass my hand under. Okay, so. I'm so fucking tired from lifting my hand. So I got here, I go under, look. Have to hide it. And I'd like to get it, like, past my wrist even, so I can't dig around in there. Right? So now I'm in my position. Start, start working here. He's gonna go, no, I don't want that. Then I, I just start to turn. Collecting his leg once again, come on top. Hug his side, and it all goes back to over under again. And see, look, I don't want to bring my knees in line with my hip line. That will give him space here. I'm laying on top of his leg. So I can come here, stay, well, move, move, arm over, tie in. Always something blocking his hip. Look, always my toes are activated and my hips going down. Always. Because there's no space to squeeze in here. If I'm like this, now there's the space he's gonna do his crazy little spin out. Alright? So shrink, enter. Shrink, enter. Get to my position. He's not going on bottom, he put the wizard in. Even better for me, I roll under. Hide, control his leg. Now I'm gonna start off. He doesn't wanna go, if he wants to put his hands on the floor, I come here. Take his back. Not only available, because I was so deep that when I entered into my deep half, it's easy for me to Chuck him out and go with my hook and let it slide a little bit and go to his back, right? <coughs> but first, I just want you to get to that position. If you can, the guy will reach around there. You can grab the sleeve, pass the sleeve, then turn to your knees and go on the top, okay? First. Second part, you try to sweep him that way, he pushes back. You try to sweep him hard this way, he puts his hands on the floor. I pop my head up, put this hook in, flick it this way. And then I'm going to go to his back. All right? One, two. Hey guys, this is not real this. We got our Hal Gracie guys here from Berkeley. We got our guys from Modesto visiting. We got our brothers from Six Blades out here with Eduardo Roca supporting. But I noticed we're all off with our own people. So why don't we all just split up? Hal Gracie guys, introduce yourself to some of the other people that have come into our gym. And let's drill with them also, okay? Not just stay in our groups, all right, guys? Me included. I'm over here training with one of our own black belts. So um, let's all just mix it up and introduce and meet some other people. Most of you guys, I've met all most of you guys at the open mat and stuff, so I'm used to drilling with you guys, but let's all mix it up. and. That's why you're so nice. Get some money out of here. That's why. This is your nice guy here. Make friends.
Okay, now your right arm is going to enter and you're going to roll upside down. So go. Let go of that grip, go underneath, and go. Turn your hips underneath and raise your arm over your head. And, and if that happens, that's option. That's, that's, that's the best. I would stay up. But if you try to do that, go ahead. Try to throw him that way, and what he'll do is he goes, put his hands on the floor. Now look, pop your head out of the hole. So it's back, no, under. Under the leg. Your head. Under, yes, and now use your right hook behind his leg. Your right hook, yes, and kick it, and now come out. Take your other leg out and go to his back. Yes, and either he'll crumble and you chase him down, or he'll stay up and you take his back. Yeah, yeah. Right? I'll go one, and I'll go two, and I'll go really hard, and he'll go. And that opens up, and then pop out. That's my fucking good are you, are, you, are, you gonna teach, are you gonna teach us the face blocking technique? Dude, my face blocking block block technique is, is, is impenetrable. By punching you in the face. Oh. I'm gonna wear your hands out with my face. And you're then gonna get you're tired of punching punch me right in my face. Oh God. Stop aiming for my nose. Oh Jesus. Oh. I'm gonna break your hands. Oh. I'm telling you. Oh. I just wait for that one straight punch. <laughs> Baby, can you grab that sleeve right now? Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yes. Now, the thing about coming on top with your leg between his legs, is your arm between his legs, maybe the reverse triangle. It's basically a, a long guy. So make sure you bleed in so that this is around his neck. You know what I'm saying? Because, because then you can bring your head to your hand. But if you're kind of loose over here, he'll go after your arm and then he'll go this way towards the triangle, right? Or he'll shove you right into it, especially a long guy. Yeah, 
So good I right can't now. do that one. Thanks for showing me, bro. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's something that you know, maybe like, what if I spin yeah. out of the way? Yeah. The guy's just not it's expecting you to spin that way. Yeah, he's not. He's such a spin in the way for me. He's like, what the fuck? Drive on his knees. He took a lot out of me. It's like, fuck. I gotta be fucking fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, they're gonna take that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Time, you guys. So, there's a bunch of different ways you can get into over under pass, right? And so, I'm just gonna give you a really easy, simple one. <laughs> so, if he's got his feet up, I'm gonna angle my toes out. Because if my toe is in two inches like this, the belly heave will come and it'll turn me, and then I have to push it down and I have to turn it back. So if I'm kind of standing like a cowboy, like this, I can step forward, step back, and push his knee towards me, and he'll straighten his leg, and then look, I staple, I come under. And I drop right into position right now, my left foot is flexed to the left, so it's keeping his leg straight. Because what he wants, is he wants his leg free so he can bring his knee through, but it, that's not gonna happen either. Right, and then I go, staple on, staple off. Now my foot is flexed to the right. Then I move when he moves. Get a little bit here, out. over. Close his hips, up. Kind of shelf his leg like this. And I still have the option to do this. And then I'm gonna tie in, right? Or I go hip to hip. And I make sure my hip is on the floor, my toes are active. And then I come here. Go notice this. Right? I'm gonna come and cross face him with it in. And then I loop it around. And it chokes it. So, usually my key is out, but what I'll do, since I'm passing over under, let's do that again, because that's more important. But that'll set up all this. So, I'm foot forward, towards out. I'm bending in my knees, I'm not bent over. Then you'll get attention in the city. I step, I step back, straighten his leg, I staple and go underneath his thigh. Flex my toes to the left. I move a little, move a little. Ah, staple on, staple off. Toes flex to the right. Move a little. Ah, block the hips. Switch in. Tie in, start coming forward. Grab my tail. Go underneath his head. I got my cross face. Stabilize, whatever. Cook it for a little while, then look. Over. In front, choke. Really easy. Or, as I come through here, I grab it, pass it to myself, and do that. Remember, when the guy grabs the collar and pulls really hard, open your mouth. Al <laughs> taught me that. All right? When the guy grabs the collar and goes, what the fuck is that? Because that's what he's doing. He's going, what the fuck is he doing with that? So I'll either grab it when I'm coming through and hide it as I cross face him, or I'll go. See, that was perfect. That was a really good example right there. That was like a huck and A. Just like that. Or I'll do it with this one. But remember, the guy grabs the collar and pulls really fucking hard. Open your mouth, we're not pit bulls. So, only a little bit. So as I come through here, come here, 
cross face him, get some pressure on him. I let it go, wind it around, it's over. All right, I pass through. All right, but most of, the, most of what I want is you guys to lengthen his legs, staple it below his knee. So here I go cheat step and I go rail, staple below the knee, come in here, foot flex to the, to the left, on, off, flex to the right, up, block. Alright, one, two, let's go. More important is that pass. If you do that to flexible guys, they cry. Excellent. I do that from the guy Turtle. Do the same thing. I go cross face and loop it, and then throw my legs over. I have a video of me having it in the mouth. Oh, good. <laughs> Love that shit. It works, goddamn. You were like, why well, would I would not use it if I couldn't? If I could grab things with my dick, I would. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I go. I go right on the first. Hey, right? Now eat up and I go. Oh, and then you're like private Right? And then I just in case he's thinking about fucking pushing me in there. Once I take my arm. Yeah, I like that. I don't know, monster trip this? That's a monster. Yeah. I do that always with D-list. I'll play that game. Yeah. My thing now is I chop the elbow all the time. Whenever they try to get an underhook. That's what fucking Patate used to do. When you're passing like this, you go. Yeah. Hey. You'd be like, ow. It started, Eduardo taught us that when we come under, for it's like a rear naked choke to the, to the shoulder lock. Yeah. But I started switching. I just get the mirror lock. I catch myself in the mirror lock. Yeah. I'll be here. I'll let him kind of have him. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Too much. Yeah. From Orlando. Yeah. 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 Always. Yeah. Yeah. Right over the elbow. Yeah. I find it all the time. But yeah. So I'll do this. And then what I'll do is I'll. Oh yeah. Coming in. And then I'll. I want my hand like this, not like this. I want this to be like this. Start to breathe in, start to bring it in. A lot of times, if anything, you'll run around. If you run around, you can still. No, it's, it's a combination of like. So how it started was I was doing this. I'd be doing this right here. And then I'd be sitting there with this here. And here and start to bring them down. But I was having trouble with it. And I just realized I could just get here just as easy. But here. It's fucking evil, right? Yeah. I've been doing this other fucked up thing. <laughs> um, it's just like a crucifix, it's a little bit like that. It attacks the arms. So I'll be here, I call it Frank Lear. Or I do that. I'll do it here in the I'll sit through. I'll sit here. I'll sit here. It's so good. I feel like your arms are going to be better. I know. 
so it's just a different shoe. Yeah. 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 Right, because it's just the clients always want something so unreasonable. It's like the four dollars for the Yeah. So it's just like, you know, you're not taking the box. It's so much easier. I take her, I've been taking her everywhere since she's a puppy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I feel like that's going on too. It's like, yeah. Master, like, <laughs> save it for the next round. So it's gonna, it's gonna come, come around and just break the Crouch a little bit more, head up. There we go. Now we're going to reload, big hit, fancy new sky. Like Elvis. Because if you, if you go like this, people will get caught behind your armpits. But if you go, wee! Ah! And these two is here, so you know, sit. No, 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 no. Okay, so you go, reload. No, 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 reload. And knees, yes, and then you grab the back of his ankle. Okay, and then back out and get his foot on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I sit down, I want to, and my knees are going towards the ears, and my hands half the way like this. Because then the legs, the feet go through. If you go like this, it's gonna, the feet gonna get caught behind your armpit. No, it's for sure. Grab. Right? And boom. And now. I see what you mean by they, If you don't do the way, trust me, you don't have to have help. Yeah, hit you twice. Fine, you have help from half. The day that you learn that, I got to the last. <laughs> Take your arm out now. Yeah. Now start sliding up his body. Are you okay with the switching? Yeah, that's fine. 
trying to do like it's really important that you get to your root position because that's it's going to be safe and then he's got to worry and, and that's what I want to create I want to create him to worry whether he's going to put too much pressure or, or back up or do whatever I I'm now in the position where I can follow right and um and then I don't believe in rolling it into deep half from like out here or knee shield or anything it's just too far away and there's gonna be too much blockage so I always start with that sink and so the best way to get good at that sink is right it's a really ridiculous movement but that's what I'm doing and that's why I sink and that's why the guy's leg gets stuck long right because if he keeps it bent you can't climb down that right so I have to make his leg long and then I can slide down and I can get into my position and then I can roll under and do whatever the more, what I want um, as far as for the pass over under pass is really really a frustrating pass it doesn't need to happen fast i have to get to that position and then once again i turn my palms up so that i have everything palm up i, I have this palm up i'm grabbing his pants so that my elbow is on the floor i have this palm up around his thigh so that there's no kimura attack and it's forcing my elbows to come into my body the same thing when you're wrestling if your hands are like this the guy's gonna underhook you and defend the takedown right so you, that's why you see them slapping each other like this <laughs> but once i once i get into that over under pass the success rate of that pass is so great because it takes the guy's flexibility out of it right and that's what i'm trying to do also i'm always thinking what's going to be safer to do like during a fight not that any of these motherfuckers pass guard they kind of just fall in the mount from God, right? But here there's really not too much that I can do to you. Right? I mean, he could punch me and stuff like that, but I'm going to pay him back really, really bad. Right? So I'm cleated in. If not, if his gil is, I, I put this right in the fold of his leg, right? And then once again, I'm using my natural strength because my elbows are close to my body. Right? And then more than likely, I'm going to pass. I'm not going to sit in the guy's guard. I'm going to always pass. So I'll propel on my leg. I'll gain some ground. I'll start to tie in, right? And then cut this out, start to move his hips this way. And then I'm going to be in, inclined to start to give him damage. Um, but I hope you got a piece or two out of, out of what, what you, you saw today. And then I'll, I'll come back after I get my surgery and stuff, so and we'll have me back here or something like that. I can come and teach a class or whatever and continue on this, on this, this genre. <laughs> I'm watching too many English films. Um, but thank you so much for supporting me and for coming out. And uh, thank you very much and have a good day because the fights are on. <laughs> and have fun. Thank you. Short guys in the front, how's the guys? Get out of the building. Me and you are, me and you are first outside. Kirk, we do it a little different here. It's ugly guys in the back. Oh, all the ugly guys I, I in the back.